Sean, you're in great health. It's wonderful to see you making so many healthy choices. Shannon, everything looks good. The last thing we need to do today is to get you the vaccines that are recommended at this age, meningococcal, HPV, and Tdap. I know the nurse gave you these vaccine information statements to look at before. Do either of you have any questions about the three vaccines? Well, I'm okay with the meningococcal and the Tdap, but I've heard some bad things about the HPV, so I think we'll just skip that today. Uh, can you say some more about what you've heard? Well, it's a relatively new vaccine, and I've heard that some people have had some pretty bad reactions to it, and I'm just not worried enough about HPV to take a chance that the vaccine's gonna do something bad to Sean. I know it's been in the news a lot lately, and actually, because I've had so many questions from my patients about it, I made it a special point to really look into the safety studies behind it. Vaccines go through a lot of testing before they ever get to a doctor's office. These tests make sure that the vaccines work at preventing diseases, and that they're very safe. There's also ongoing monitoring for safety all the time that they're being used with the general public. I have a chart on the wall that we can look at that explains the process in more detail, but the HPV vaccine has been recommended and licensed since 2006, and we don't have any serious safety concerns. But I know I've heard about people fainting after getting it. Adults and adolescents sometimes do faint after certain medical procedures, including vaccinations, so it's not specific to the HPV vaccine. In fact, we ask all big kids and adults to stay seated in the office for 15 minutes after every vaccination for that very reason. Now, I'm very comfortable with the safety of the HPV vaccine, and I do think it's important for Sean to have it today. My nieces and nephews went through the same vaccination series when they were Sean's age, and I wouldn't want anything different for him. Well, what do you think? Okay. We now have a way to prevent today's adolescents from developing certain forms of cancer tomorrow. And all we have to do is treat the HPV vaccine just like any other. Take every opportunity to recommend it, give the doses on schedule, and be prepared to answer any question, just as you would for any other vaccine. No drama needed.